dollar ad campaign to fight smoking today. Ask yourself what you will miss more, your children or cigarettes. The ads are both jarring and emotional, and they're aimed at getting people to quit smoking or, better yet, not start at all. The CDC said last year's ads worked, helping some 50,000 people kick the habit. We wanted to get an idea of smoking habits here in the Milwaukee area. We're joined now by Robert Cherry. He is the director of Community of Advocates Public Policy Institute. Thanks a lot for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. So give us an idea how many people in our area smoke percentage or hard numbers sure um, in milwaukee county a recent study showed that twenty five percent of milwaukee county residents are smokers and when you look uh, at the african-american and low-income population that number rises up to thirty percent are those numbers increasing or diminishing um, those numbers are increasing for youth and increasing so which means that they're increasing for older adults also, hmm. adults over 21. And what's the biggest impact those numbers have? Well, the health care costs. Um, the state's uh, health care um, costs $2 billion for the state annually for uh, tobacco use. Um, it does get expensive. Uh, what programs are in place to combat smoking then? Well, at Community Advocates, we administer the Milwaukee Tobacco Alliance. And um, within that program, um, we educate the community mm -hmm. on um, um, current trends with the tobacco industry, also uh, new tobacco products, and uh, tobacco-related health disparities. Mm -hmm. So someone sees these ads, they work, they want to quit smoking, where can they go? Um, I would ask them to call the quit line. Uh, the quit line offers um, free, um, non-judgmental su support mm -hmm. to, to smokers who want to quit. And people who use the quit lines are four times more likely um, to stop than w when they try to stop on their own. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add to uh, the discussion about uh, smoking cessation? Yes. Well, the state spends about 600, gets about $600 million a year in tax revenue off tobacco and spends about uh, less than 1% on uh, prevention and helping smokers quit. So mm -hmm. we would like to see that number increase. Yeah. All right. Robert Cherry, Director of the Community Advocates Public Policy Institute, thank you so much for being thank here you. today. Thank you. Well, we will put information on our website, tmj4.com slash Wisconsin Tonight.